Hello and welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Christy Demers, the Scientific Director of Queensland Fertility Group. And today I'm going to explain a little bit about how embryo glue works to help embryos implant. So when trying for a baby, you do everything you can to maximize your chance of success. And using embryo glue in the lab is no different. So it's a medium that we use to try and ensure we give embryos the best chance of implanting. So what is embryo glue? So a medium used in the lab, but we also use it during the actual embryo transfer procedure as well. And it's designed to mimic the natural environment of the womb or uterus, as we like calling it. So as I said earlier, it gives the embryo the best chance of implanting. However, it's not an actual glue. It's more a viscous, thick substance. And this substance is actually made of a high concentration of components like hyaluronan, which is a naturally occurring key component in embryo development and implantation. So how does it work? The way embryo glue works can be explained in three main ways. So number one, the inner wall of the uterus and the embryo itself have special molecules on their surfaces known as receptors. Hyaluronin binds those molecules together and acts almost like a bridge between the receptors. In other words, a bridge between the embryo and the uterus. And this media actually encourages the embryo to implant and therefore improving the chance of a successful pregnancy. So how do we prepare the embryos for a transfer procedure with embryo glue, especially in the lab? The scientist carefully pl places the chosen embryo in this media before the embryo transfer procedure for at least 10 minutes, but even up to a couple of hours. For the embryo transfer procedure, a specially designed catheter is used by the doctor and the embryologist as well. A smaller amount of embryo glue is included when the embryo is drawn up by the scientist into this special catheter. This therefore ensures that the embryo is bathed in and surrounded by the media when it's carefully placed into the uterus by your doctor. So what's the next step? The next step happens deep inside your uterus. So following transfer of the embryo, the embryo continues growing and eventually hatches out of that protective outer shell of the embryo, which is known as a zona pellucida. However, this might have actually happened before transfer as well, but this is the next essential step, that hatching process. The embryo comes into close contact with the inner surface of the uterus, which is known as the endometrium. And this contact is held by the embryo glue. For successful implantation of the embryo, the special receptors on the embryo need to attach and communicate with the special receptors on the endometrium. And this is a key step in establishing pregnancy. And it involves such amazing complex signaling between the embryo and the uterus for this process to be successful. The next step is the embryo then invades the surface of the uterus and continues that signaling with the uterus to result in a successful pregnancy, including the development of the placenta, which is required for the baby to start growing. And does it cost extra to use embryo glue? No, at Queensland Fertility Group, embryo glue is used for all embryo transfer procedures and as a standard medium with no additional cost. However, this may vary at other IVF clinics. I hope you now have a better understanding of embryo glue and how it works. Thanks for watching. For more videos of things, all things fertility, subscribe to Fertile Minds.